Hello students. In the previous classes, we have studied about the wave theory, the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, in the particle nature, we have studied about black body radiation, photoelectric effect, atomic spectra, isn't it? These all we studied in order to understand what Bohr's model of for hydrogen atom. See, after Rutherford, Bohr gave the model of hydrogen atom, isn't it? And his postulates we are going to study one by one. First is that he said that electrons are present in fixed orbits, okay, which is having what? Fixed energy, okay. It's like if nucleus is there, this is the nucleus, these are what? The energy shells or the orbit or the stationary state, states, okay. These are, these are known as orbits or energy shells or stationary shells okay this is what the nucleus where positive new protons and neutrons are present and these are the orbits in which the electrons are revolving around the nucleus he named these ar orbits as kl m and so on okay and he said what that here in these cells these cells are having what specific energy and it, when electron is present in the first orbit it will have a specific energy if it is present in the second orbit it will have specific energy of that orbit okay if it is present in this m it will have that specific energy of that orbit okay so as long as the electron is in its orbit it will have that energy only Okay, so energy of an atom in an orbit does not change with time. It is not that this R, the electron is present over here, it is revolving, okay, and it is having some energy. And when it reaches here after some time, what will happen? It will have some another energy. It doesn't happen. Okay, when it is in this orbit, it is revolving, it is having that specific energy only. Next is... Frequency, he is gave the formula of frequency, okay, uh, do you remember that, what, uh, that E is equal to H nu, from that this formula is coming, e nu means frequency is equal to change in energy upon what, Planck's constant, so change in energy is what, E2 minus E1, okay, or uh, final minus initial, okay, upon what, H, here, it is saying about what the radiation, this frequency is about what that radiation which is emitted or absorbed, okay, uh, when the electrons are transmitted, okay. Now, next, and this is also known as what this formula is also known as Bohr's frequency rule, okay. Now, next, angular momentum of the electron in a given orbit is given by the formula MVR is equal to NH upon 2 pi. Actually momentum is represented as what? Mass into velocity, isn't it? But here the orbits are circular in nature, so angular momentum is represented as what? MVR and this MVR angular momentum can be taken out by what? The principal quantum number or the orbit number into what Planck's constant upon 2 pi, okay? Now, the stationary states of an electron is always, the, all these orbits, okay? This is numbered as K, L, M, N or it is numbered as what? 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And this 1, 2, 3, 4 are known as what? The principal quantum number, okay? Next. The radii of stationary states, okay, the radii of stationary states are represented by the formula Rn is equal to n square a naught. So what is this a naught over here? Its value is actually 52.9 picometer and this is known as Bose radius also. This is what the radius of the hydrogen atom, okay, basically. The seventh point, okay. Here, the energy in the nth orbit is represented by the formula minus Rh 
in the bracket 1 upon n square where Rh is what? The Rydberg constant and the value is how much? What? 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule. Okay. So now let us just calculate some of the orbit's energy. Okay. So the first one we are calculating energy of the first orbit. Okay. Of the first principal quantum number. How we will be doing that? See minus and the Rydberg's constant value we are writing 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18. Okay. First orbit is there. So n in place of n it is written 1. Okay, so and when we will be calculating it, what we will get? The value will be minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule. Now, taking the second orbit, okay, or the second principal quantum number, minus, then we are writing what? The formula of Rydberg constant. Upon here, what is the orbit number or the principal quantum 2? So here n is equal to 2 square. When we will be calculating it, we will be getting minus 0. 0.545 into 10 to the power 18. Now see these two values. Okay. The first one and the second one. The first is minus 2.18 and the second is what? Minus 0.545. So which is more negative? More negative is even, isn't it? So here we can say that when the electrons are not in influence of the nucleus, okay, its value is 0. It means what? That here the principal quantum number we can say what? It is in the infinite. It is infinite. Okay. So at this position where the influence of nucleus is 0, there the energy is taken to be 0. Okay. So when it is being transmitted to the lower energy levels, what happens? It will be becoming what? negative in nature because it, it, it energy will be losing okay so if it is coming one uh, one by one to its ground state the most negative value which will have the first energy shell isn't it so we are saying what that hydrogen has got what negative energy in its ground state okay now next is what the energy of the stationary states associated with helium, lithium and beryllium. Here you can see, I have written helium ions, lithium ions and beryllium ions because we are comparing this with what? The hydrogen atom. And here one electron has been removed, here two has been removed and here three has been removed in order to, um, uh, in order to behave like what? Hydrogen atom. Okay, because hydrogen atom has got only what? one electron. So if we want to calculate the energy of these elements, okay, how we will be calculating, there will be a just a um, simple difference where you can see in this we have written 1, it will be replaced by what? Z square. This Z square, what is this Z? Z is the atomic number, okay. So now when we will be calculating this, we will be getting value what? in the energy in the, we will be getting the value of these helium lithium and beryllium energy states okay now how the radius in the nth orbit can be calculated for um, these elements like helium lithium and beryllium okay here you can see this is what 52.9 it is what the radius of hydrogen upon what the atomic number of these elements we can get the radius in the nth orbit and the last he said that it is possible to calculate velocities of electrons moving in these orbits okay he said that yes velocities can be calculated of these electrons which are moving in the orbits and he is here no perfect experiments or experimental values or anything is given but yes it qualitatively it is said that if it is positive charge is more positive charge where it is it is in the nucleus if it is more the velocities will be more and more the the, um, the principal quantum number what will happen the velocity will be less so now we will be studying explanation of line spectrum of hydrogen okay 
So in this first we will be seeing about the energy change between the two orbits. How can we take out the energy change between the two orbits? So what is the energy change between the two orbits can be given by the uh, formula change in energy is equal to what? Uh, final energy minus the initial energy. So change in energy, final energy and initial energy, how it will be represented in, in, in the initials? Only in this class we have discussed about it, how we take out the energy, isn't it? So by that what had happens, it becomes what? Minus Rh upon what? Mm, Nf square minus minus Rh upon Ni square, Nf um, final and this is the initial, okay? So change in energy is equal to what? We will be taking out Rh over here, okay? This is common and then here what will happen? Minus minus, it becomes plus. So 1 upon N initial square minus what? 1 upon... Uh, nf square and final okay so the value which we are getting is what 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 1 upon what uh, initial square minus the final square and the energy of uh, the unit is what joule okay next is what how frequency associated with the absorption and emission of photons can be taken out okay so frequency Okay, is equal to what? Nu is equal to what? Change in energy upon what? Uh, H, isn't it? And then what happens in this? Take it, taking it out, change in energy. Okay, it is represented by what? Rh1 upon initial square minus F square, isn't it? So here we have written this, calculated it. Okay, putting the value of Rh 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18. H Planck's constant uh, value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34. Okay, substituting it, we get uh, value of how much? 3.29 into 10 to the power 15. Okay, uh, initial square minus the final square, and the unit of frequency is what? Hertz. Okay, so here this we have seen of what? Hydrogen. If it is hydrogen like ions, so here just what we will be putting in the formula Z square over here. Z square means what? The atomic Z represents the atomic number and this can be done for what? Helium ions, lithium ions and beryllium ions. Okay. Now next how can we calculate the wave number? Okay. So wave number it is what? Formula becomes what? Wave number is equal to what? Frequency uh, upon uh, what? Velocity. Okay. And that we are putting it into the formula. Okay. That uh, frequency is equal to what? Right now we have done it. It is what? The change in energy upon H which can be represented as what? Rh upon H and C over here. Okay. And uh, 1 upon what? Uh, initial square minus Nf final square. And that here what N is representing? N is what the principal quantum number. Okay. Remember that. Okay. And then, then putting it in the values. Okay. We are getting 3.29 into 10 to the power 15 upon what? Um, this frequency value. We have just calculated it also here over. Isn't it? So upon what? Uh, what is the velocity of light? The velocity of light is what? 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Okay. And 1 upon uh, n i uh, an initial square minus uh, n final square. And the value which you will get is what? 1.09677 into 10 to the power what? 7. Uh, 1 upon uh, n initial square minus 1 upon n final square. Okay. Meter uh, inverse 1. Okay. So now in hydrogen we see what? There are... Uh, we, we are taking a sample of hydrogen, okay, and if it is uh, being uh, the atoms of that hydrogen, there are different, so they will be excited to different energy levels, okay, and yes, uh, if they are transmitted to different energy levels, they will try to come back also, okay, and uh, as the result, they will fall in the what, Lyman series, Barmer series, okay, bracket series, Fun series, okay, Pascal series, these series we have discussed in the earlier class, isn't it? So, this is what, what this uh, about line spectrum of what? Hydrogen. So, this is all for today. Good day. Take care.